so free me bro. So in the room, it's my passion. I don't come in my passion. Okay, then. Even before I said good morning to them, and I can start my business. That's the passion again. Then the person sitting there say, "Wait there." And my project is about three, I think it will have three stages sitting position, strategy, and travel planning. Now I'm gonna do sitting position. My fitting is sitting position, right? That's it. So I'm gonna, before that, very roughly, like, okay, the first step we have to check the skin, right? And then uh, I'm gonna do donning. I have to, we call the process donning. Donning is put on. Doffing is the count. Don't. Don't. D O N E. Don't, right? Don't. I'm gonna don my authority from not from top like that, right? Slide in. Still in the sitting position, and then you're gonna check. On sitting position, you're gonna check the profile, the contour, the fit in the process, and also the team line. How's the authority fit? This is for the contour, right? I'm gonna check the trim line. That's the sitting position. After that, I'm gonna do static. Stand up. Ask the patient to stand up. And then ask the patient the feeling. Do you feel pain? Discomfort? And then you can also check the alignment from the corona plane. And also from the side. Okay? If it's less done, ask her to sit down. Okay? So, sitting is done, standing is done, right? I'm gonna do for last stage be dynamic. I'm gonna put the insole, I mean, my device is a shoe, but I have to remove the original body line. Put it in, and then you can ask the patient. Okay, then you have to explain, okay, the office is still fitting very well. Maybe it's not too visible, a little bit visible, right? It should be a higher series. And then you can ask the patient to don on sitting, not standing, right? Patient can also do that because they oh, you can help them do that because they feel more how to manipulate the foot. Don't force to get it in, and then make sure the shoelace they are tightened. Sorry, I'm a bit more hurry, I think. Make sure the shoelace they are tightened well. Our shoe is done. This is also to emphasize the proximal part should be well tightened. If it's loose, the device will be moving right. This oh. unit have a really well secured. Then I can ask the patient to stand up. Before I ask him for dynamic, I'm gonna check height. This is height eco. And then also okay, how do you feel? Do you feel comfortable? Do you feel any pain? Yeah. If they say no pain, I feel comfortable, my height is okay. Then I could do this walk, and then I can go for dynamic. Walk a little bit, it's now come back. Right. 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 After going walking, come back. You can ask the patient to sit down, and then immediately I'm gonna go for the last stage to check the skin. Remove your sources first. Take the skin socks out. Do check is there any abnormal right. pressure? So that be the end of your. That's the system of the model. It's meaning different operations. Is it better to use patient socks? I think it's better because I don't need to. Unless you want to see really if the first is the two minutes correct, right? So during sitting position, that's the time taking the contour and also explain the trim line, right? Should be proximal meter tassel so heads, cover the calipinus, uh, and then the proximal meter so heads. That is done for that. Is this is the direction, similar situation again. Patient care, sit down, introduce yourself. I'm gonna do fitting my project. Certain procedure. Sitting position. The same thing you have to explain. On sitting position, you're gonna look at the contour or the fitting of the device in the line. foot. That's what you're gonna check the trim line. Okay, so that's done. I can also ask the patient maybe to do loading, standing, static, 
they ask how does she feel in the media aspect is it even with the support you also keep the alignment from the corona plane the media plane is it okay now i'm gonna go for i'm gonna put now the my focus in the shoe Thank you. Thank you. And then do that. right? So make sure you explain to us when you put your PSO inside the shoe, it should not be it should be free from wrinkles. Nice fitting in. After that, same procedure. Get in, make sure the shoelace they are tightened, and then you can ask the patient to stand up. Before dynamic, check the height. If there's any LLB, you may need to do contra lateral compensation. Contra lateral wow. compensation. If the, this side is higher, they are going to think of something to put in this side to be. How do you feel? You ask about the feedback. Do you feel comfortable? If you say it's a kit, Maybe you're going to go to dynamic, right? It's always the procedure. The patient say, okay, don't allow to dynamic. If you say, okay, it's not that bad. And then the same time say, I'm looking for the alignment from the side of the plane, especially not the same place, right? Stand space alignment, as you remember, do the lateral elevation, again. then sit down. Immediately again, off, off, check if there's any. Try to share the same system, please, to see how much you follow the procedure, how do you care in your client. Promotion is to be your effect, that is a really patient. Communicate, produce in a sit down, maybe put on a shoe. Okay. Any contact about the patient? Sir? If it's needed, for instance. If it's needed. If you find it maybe after putting your CBL is too high, maybe in five millimeter, yes. and the patient feels discomfort, you have to do contralateral compensation. Cut the EBA in five millimeter. And then actually you need to measure how much is you need to have some blocks. Can I have those things on there? Both of them too. Uh, if you want to know how much is I'm missing, can you send up again? I shown here there's an install put it on shoulder in this. I have my US bill, which should be on this side, right? And I found the LLB. So I have to how much LD I have to put in my EVA, maybe five millimeter. Then I check if it's horizontal, I say okay, it's more five millimeter, I need to compensate. If it's still not, I put another five millimeter again. Okay, now this is a correct height. That means I'm gonna do 10 millimeter of composition in this shoe to have an equal height, right? Makes sense. So, so when in the uh, in your evaluation, uh, if any get in here, so in no, we explain. We don't do uh, that, but you, uh, you see, you know the procedure, uh, right? You can, you can see the problem and you know the solution. Yeah, just explain. Yeah, just explain. Even for the LLD, you don't need to read the procedure. Just show the procedure, okay? Before dynamic, I'm going to check the okay. height. If there's any shortening, maybe have to think of that. Well, uh, that is, uh, tomorrow we bring our friends, our patients. Yes. Yeah, you're going to come in with the patient. 